Welcome to Chop Chop Culinary Skills Training Video Series. I'm Therese Allen, author of The Flavor of Wisconsin for Kids. And I'm Susan Peterman, seasoned nutrition consultant and retired director of school nutrition for Middleton School District. In this video training series, we'll show you how to use Wisconsin-grown fruits and vegetables in your school meal programs. Serving these local foods to your students is a win-win for child nutrition and local farmers. We are all searching for ways to serve fresher, more interesting menus for students. Wisconsin-grown vegetables and fruits look, smell, and taste appealing, and with a few helpful techniques can easily be added to your lunch line. This short training will demonstrate simple skills and recipes to create delicious meals made with local products that your students will love to eat. Chop, chop, let's head to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen at Middleton Cross Plains Cromery Middle School. Did you know you can bring out the sweetness of root vegetables through roasting? Today, we are going to do just that. Roast Wisconsin-grown potatoes, carrots, and sweet potatoes. Students are already familiar fans of these vegetables, so they're a good place to start if you've never used or cooked with local foods. We'll also work with creative seasonings for root veggies to add flavor to your dishes and increase student interest in your menus. We're going to start by preparing our pans for roasting. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. This is the temperature that is generally used for most vegetable roasting. Line your sheet pans with foil or spray with vegetable spray. I recommend using the foil simply because this will decrease your cleanup time. Paper liners are not recommended for vegetable roasting. Next, we'll prepare our vegetables. Although we are working with potatoes, carrots, and sweet potatoes, this same process can be used with other root vegetables like beets, parsnips, and turnips, all of which are grown in Wisconsin and store well during the winter months. Make sure your vegetables are washed and somewhat dry. Welcome Barb Wara, School Nutrition Director from Fort Atkinson Schools. You can begin by peeling the vegetables, but it's not necessary here. Peeling vegetables depends on the skin. Some vegetable skins are thin, like this white potato, and will roast for added texture and flavor. Others may be tougher and more bitter. All young, fresh vegetables may be roasted with skin on. When cutting your vegetables, select shapes that appeal to students. Thick wedges and french fry shapes are obviously popular. For carrots, cut into one to two inch chunks and remove the ends. You'll want them all to be right about the same size so that they cook evenly. When using potatoes, make sure to cut these last to prevent discoloration from air exposure. You can also soak them in salt water until it's time to roast them, but if you go this route, dry them well before they're roasted. Follow the same process with the sweet potatoes. If the skins are thin and clean, you don't need to peel. And that means more nutrition for your students. Next, we're going to toss the veggies with oil and seasonings. But first, let's take a minute to talk about those seasonings. Root vegetables are delicious on their own, but we can also think of them as a blank canvas for flavor. The seasonings can be simple like fresh herbs, rosemary, basil, parsley, or thyme from the school garden. Just mince and toss the herbs with the veggies when they come out of the oven. You can also use dry spices from the pantry. For student-approved flavors, try combinations like rosemary and thyme, cumin and paprika, or chili powder with oregano. Many low-sodium seasonings are pre-mixed like Italian or Mexican, and are available from food distributors. You can also mix your own, like this simple 
schoolhouse seasoning blend with paprika, onion powder, cumin, coriander, salt, and garlic powder. You can even mix up a large batch of this seasoning to keep on hand anytime you need a dash of flavor. These seasoning mixes can help you reduce the salt in your school menus. Don't forget to encourage students to give feedback on the seasoning blends you use. Now we'll put it all together and get our veggies roasting. Our recipe today is a simple roasted root veggie recipe from the Holman School District and you can find it on the Chop Chop website. As always, start with freshly washed hands and first combine all of the veggies in a bowl. Add vegetable oil or you could use a combination of oil like olive and vegetable. And then the seasonings. You can spice it up. Now, using your hands, mix the vegetables to distribute the oil and the seasonings evenly. Now that our veggies are tossed and evenly coated with oil and seasoning, we'll spread them out in a single layer on our prepared pans. As simple as this. Place the pans in a preheated 425 degree oven and roast for 15 minutes. At that point, toss them with a metal spatula and continue the roasting process until they are brown tipped and tender. This will take another 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how large the chunks are and how spread apart they may be on your baking pan. Watch carefully to prevent overcooking. The best way to know if they're done, of course, is to taste one. Our root vegetables are roasted. Let's take a look. These are perfect, tender, fragrant, and ready to serve. Try to avoid holding roasted potatoes in the steam table for too long. They will get soggy. These roasted vegetables are extremely versatile. They can be used as a vegetable side or as part of an entree. Leftovers can be added to grain salads or even soups. If you don't have time to process fresh product, consider some of the local frozen processed options that are available through our food distributor. Did you know that a lot of locally grown nutritious fruits and vegetables don't look good enough to be sold in the grocery store? We call these cosmetically imperfect seconds. They're perfectly fresh and good to use in school meals and in any meals. They just look a little different than what you're used to. Root vegetables can often be purchased as cosmetically imperfect seconds. Odd looking veggies like these can cost much less than grade A product. Your ability to use this product allows more room in your food budget for other local foods. Wisconsin's farmers are an important part of the state's landscape, food system, and economy. By using locally grown fruits and vegetables, you're not only sourcing the freshest ingredients possible, but you're helping to directly support Wisconsin's farm families and businesses across the state. Now, let's meet a farmer and learn about a successful relationship with one of your school nutrition peers. Well, we have an organic vegetable farm, so we grow a really big assortment of a lot of different things from early spring greens uh, starting in uh, March all the way to all of the array of vegetables that you would see at the farmers market during the summer from uh, tomatoes and, and uh, carrots and beets and squash and broccoli. I had done some potato tasting in Monona Grove and I found that to be very interesting with the students. High Meadow Farms helped us when we were doing the um, uh, red white and blue potato day. They had the blue potatoes which aren't that common and everybody got to tour the farm and a lot of times kids think that potatoes are hanging on the vine like an apple and they're surprised to find that we have to dig into the dirt to find them and the excitement in the potato field when we have our potato party and they're all going through is just a squeal of excitement you know just finding all the potatoes and 
And we don't see that kind of enthusiasm with the people that work here and pick them up out of the ground. Yeah. So it's, it's really great to, to have, um, to see that excitement and just, they just don't want to stop. They want to always dig another roll. So we've got potatoes that are red inside and blue inside and yellow inside. So if we, you have that assortment and chopped up in a bowl, it's pretty exciting just to get that that doesn't look like a regular potato. Even more exciting for them to cut them up themselves and put them in their own thing. So they're, they're actually bringing it from the ground, wash it up, put it in the grill. It's that whole process in one day of, of harvesting to a table that really kind of opens a whole other window to them. So we try to look for the things that are, are really in season when we're doing a farm to school harvest item of the month. By the time we get back to school in August, a lot of the things are, have already hit their peak and we can't get them anymore. But the root vegetables are, are, we have a lot of availability here in Wisconsin late into the season. Carrots, I believe we can get up until March. So that's, and, and potatoes pretty much year round if it's been a good year for, for potatoes. Carrots will actually get even sweeter when they're in storage. So we have carrots here in the winter time that we send out so they really get to have nice vegetables all year round, not just in the summertime. Working with different families who have not had that exposure, um, I'm, I'm just find out how little kids are aware of uh, where the food comes from and what it looks like and that there's a lot of different varieties of different things. You know, there's more than just a red tomato. There's a, a, lot, of, a lot of different varieties that you can grow and then a lot of different flavors and they all have a little bit different nutritious value. It's been a lot of fun working with them and teaching them those things. Roasted root vegetables direct from Wisconsin growers are a great addition to your school meal program. We hope you've enjoyed learning the basics of roasting and using creative seasonings and that you will use them often in your school kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about using local Wisconsin products in your school menus. Please complete the short survey. Your feedback helps us support you as we meet evolving nutrition standards. Have fun introducing these delicious Wisconsin fruits and vegetables into your school meal program. The complete video training series and other Farm to School resources are available on the CIAS website. Thank you again to our sponsors at USDA, Team Nutrition, Organic Valley, and NutriSlice who made these videos possible. The Chop Chop Training Series is a partnership of CESA Purchasing, the Center for Integrated Agricultural Systems, and the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction. A special thanks to our gold sponsor, Organic Valley, 